Hello and welcome to another edition of What's Going On in the Cap. My name is Sam Wainwright. Hi, and I'm Jim Wheeler with Bego. And today we have Bego's new 3D printer, the Bego Varseo S. And it's just brand new. Uh, we just got our first one here this last week. We just got our total our team trained up on it, and it's really exciting. It is uh, unique in a couple ways versus other 3D printers out in the market. Um, Bego, the company itself, and Jim can speak to this more clearly, but it is truly a dental company, right? This was developed from the ground up for dental, so it wasn't yeah. some sort of third-party printer that's just uh, branded or, or brought into dental, right? Yep, yep. Um, and uh, it's a German company. Yep. And it really makes the um, the process of the of the printer, uh, how it works, and also uh, the support of it, uh, much more streamlined. Yep. So that's that's kind of an interesting point, point, Sam. I mean, we're over a hundred year old dental company, mm -hmm. so this printer was developed specifically for dental labs by a dental company, mm -hmm. and you know we've gone through great pains to validate all of our mm -hmm. processes. So. Um, you know, from start to finish, all the way through post-processing. Right. Again, we have a validated process, and you know, Bago being a dental company, we also have every single material right. investment, you know, all uh, metals, uh, casting machines. Yes, everything the through through yeah. post-processing. It's great. Yep. It makes a lot of sense. And another unique thing about the printer is this cartridge system, which actually has a lot of good attributes to it. Um, one is the material usage is way down. Right, it, it's really efficient at using every bit and piece of the resin. Yep, correct. So you know, one of a lot of uh, companies out there with three D printers. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the the big topic out there is cost of material and mm -hmm. how much does it cost to print a model or a surgical guide. And um, you know, what companies typically will do is um, they'll take the retail price mm -hmm. of that material, okay, and then they'll print a number of objects and then they'll divide, you know, they'll weigh those objects and then divide it by the retail cost of the material. But none of these companies account for waste, hmm. okay? And a lot of these uh, printers with open trays, mm -hmm. you know, ambient light can hit some of the sides of that material and cure some of that material. And what's really unique about ours is, I mean, it's an opaque black canister. Yeah, there's no way light's getting in. There's no, no way light is getting in there. I mean, a dental lab could store material in that canister for up to two years wow. if they wanted to. So a long time. virtually no waste and when a dental lab is printing multiple materials, they can change that cartridge with another cartridge of material within 30 seconds. That's great. Yeah, that's a, it's definitely a big advantage. Um, so for materials, we'll just get into these really quick. Today we have, and actually this is a great example of the build plate size, we have castable, uh, primarily yep. for partials with a complete workflow. You got it. Uh, you want to hold that for a sure. second? Uh, we also have, uh, they have a model material available, which is producing some really nice, um, high resolution, nice fitting dies and, and yep. uh, models. Uh, they also have a, a custom impression tray material, which is used in the mouth. Yep. Uh, and then um, sir, um, this is for splints, night guards. Correct. And yep. this is available and out today. Yep, that's our new material. And again, that you, right there, you're seeing mm -hmm. a version of it which is not finished. Yes. And then the other version which is polished. Yeah, right there, you'll notice it's crystal clear. Yeah. That that splint material is really, really hot right now. Yeah. And then the last material available right there is, of course, our surgical guide. Mm -hmm. And in 2018, we're going to have temporary material and denture base. Great. So that also round out the portfolio. Yep. Great. Uh, and then lastly, there are two versions of the printer. There's the uh, basic package, which is really all materials is probably a better name for it, but it includes all materials, um, anything moving forward for this printer. So it can, it can print anything we talked about and any future indications. Yep. And then there is a partner program where it is specific to whatever material you want to use and you can buy up into other materials as you want to add them. And the price difference is actually, so the full version is about 15,000 yep. approximately. Of course, uh, the the partner package is, is ten, so it gets you into especially if you have like a specific use for this printer, it really gets you into this thing for a, not a lot of money, especially compared to where we were three four years ago, yeah, which is crazy. So, so we did that. I mean, one of the again back to this build plate. I mean, sure. we did a, a new printer has a thirty percent larger build plate. Yes, and again, it's about half the price of what the original version was, mm -hmm. as you just mentioned, and. Um, again, with that ten thousand dollar partner version, yeah, you know we we love to think that dental labs are going to do all six or seven materials, but in reality, a lot of them just do one or two. Yeah. 
So that, that partner version, you know, it's locked to one material. And as a lab decides to add a material, mm -hmm. it's essentially a software upgrade mm -hmm. where they would just pay a fee to unlock a material as they, you know, develop another use. Yeah, and I, I think this is extremely important for removable laboratories, partials mm -hmm. that, you know, aren't in CAD CAM. Uh, and you know they don't need to maybe do models or surgical guides, and they want to get say a scanner and a printer for the lowest dollar possible. I think this is really a great, great option. I yep. think you know this is. And again, like I said, we we've positioned it specifically to be again one of the lowest um, priced and most accurate DLP printers on the market mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. That partner. Uh, and of course, the other strength is it's such a fast printer. If you did have the printer with all the materials and these cartridges, you could really just do, if you were a full service smaller lab, you could really just get a ton of stuff through this thing. Absolutely. Great. Well, thank you so much, Jim. Thank you, for Sam. For coming. Uh, we appreciate it. Yep. And uh, thank you, everybody, for watching the video.